Peter, great to see you. Last time we spoke, it was Gdansk, and yes. we were talking about the market. We haven't seen too much change there, it's still challenging. But I was walking by looking at what differentiates EMS companies, and the first thing I saw when I walked past your booth was AI-driven EMS. Yes. Tell me what you mean by that, and obviously we have a great example behind us. Yes. Uh, what we believe, and we decided this many years ago, that uh, competence uh, uh, are important, but the costs are also important. Mm -hmm. And we see that the cost of uh, human operators, people who are working on the shop floor, yeah. are growing, yeah. and less and less people want to do this job. And we start to think uh, many years ago how to replace, how to uh, compromise, how to uh, put uh, together AI-driven robots mm -hmm. uh, with uh, operators on the shop floor. Okay. And this is the idea behind that uh, we are looking for the solution, which is very flexible, as flexible, almost as flexible like yeah. uh, human, uh, but uh, uh, working 24-7 uh, uh, yeah. uh, on the shop floor. Yeah, and actually resolving some of those talent shortages. I think it's really interesting. And when I've looked at automation, I think the challenge in automation in EMS has always been the same. How do we do it when we're in a environment where we need so much flexibility so yes. adaptable automation that does behave like an operator um, is absolutely valuable have you done it yourself have you found partners that were able to help we did it ourselves uh, seven years ago our owner uh, announced new strategy but we want to be artificial intelligence driven company okay and we start to work so we have now a team of uh, 170 engineers wow. working together on these solutions yeah and we are ready to put it on the market so we are not okay. doing this only for ourselves yeah but we are doing this also for other emss uh, okay. i'm in contact with many emss and we are talking about using this because this is a, a big difference on the market yeah uh, these guys you don't need to program it uh, uh, you don't need to put this robot accurate instruction so engineer is not needed yeah. uh, to operate it's okay. needed to build the software to yeah. build the uh, solution but it's not uh, needed on daily business daily operations okay. when you put a trolley in this robot uh, with the boards uh, camera is looking and knowing where the product is how to take yeah. it which which uh, uh, where the product is yeah and uh, is uh, learning itself so you don't need to program it's uh, okay. uh, we are thinking about uh, building, and we are on the way, uh, Academy for Robots. Oh, okay. So we are collecting the knowledge from yeah. different applications, different solutions of the robots, putting all in the cloud, and uh, uh, these robots are learning for one from each other. Wow. Wow. It's a bit of an eye yeah. situation, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, it? it's both exciting and frightening. But I think what's really interesting is creating robotics, creating adaptable automation, using AI to bring all that together, to be as flexible as you need to be yes. in, a, in an EMS environment. When you start to be able to leverage that to your own advantage, but also start to spin it out in a more altruistic way for the rest of the industry, it becomes quite game-changing, doesn't it? So those engineers that you have, they're all based at your facility in Poland? or Yes, they are yeah. all of them are best in our, our facility in Poland, in Krakow. Okay. We are located in Krakow. Yeah, so that's, re that's really interesting. And when you're talking to larger EMS companies, EMS companies here, do they... What do they want to do? Do they want to do pilot programs? What's their, what's the their pilot route? Today we are on the stage of the pilot programs because uh -huh. people are interested to see if this is really working. You know, artificial intelligence is the name which everyone is using. Yes. All the people are talking. But we have this in real. Yeah. We have on our shop floor, we can show, we can invite customers to see. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, everyone is interested, okay, let's try the pilot. Yeah. We are not fully convinced, but we are ready to make a pilot. Okay, so beta sites yet, yeah, or any, um, any EMS companies that are ready to announce applications, uh, or a little bit early? Uh, it's too early to announce the names of the yeah. potential customers and customers. Yeah, the partners. Yes. But exciting times, absolutely. Yes, it is, yeah. it is. It is a really exciting yeah. time. Yeah, and I think the application of AI in uh, electronic manufacturing is a little bit undiscovered. We're seeing some really interesting players do yeah. inspection, do supply chain, yeah. do different things in the market, but actually applying it to you automation. Know what, what we is believe valuable. is our uh, difference, that we know how to connect artificial intelligence, vision, and robots together yeah. to work together. Because many people are working on artificial intelligence and uh, people are offering solutions, but no connected with robots. Yeah. And this is what we are doing is uh, uh, unique. Yeah, it's unique, a unique operation, but also synergistic and it brings everything yeah. together. Pointer, thanks for telling me all about it. I look forward to learning more and I'm really excited to uh, 
be the first to hear when you when you have some okay. live projects and we can go and visit some. Feel invited. Thank you very much. Thank you.